Hello everyone, Damian Ruffner here from Audubon, Pennsylvania and the Discovery Center right here in Philadelphia to talk to you a little bit about World Migration Day. Saturday, May 9th was World Migration Day, putting a global spotlight on bird migration. And migration for a birder is like a dream world, where birders from all over Philadelphia and the Mid-Atlantic region head out to catch a gander of what they might be able to see just passing through the area. You may have the classic image in your mind of Canada geese migrating in their famous V formation. But of the more than 650 species of North American breeding birds, more than half are migratory and have both a summer and winter home. But what is migration? How do birds do it? Why do birds do it? Is there anything I can do to help? Come along with me and let's find out. Migration is defined as the movement from one region to another. And migration occurs in birds, insects, mammals, fish, and other organisms, including humans. Migration has been observed in animals for over 3,000 years, dating all the way back to the ancient Greeks. And more recently, John James Audubon, while in the midst of studying and painting North American birds, demonstrated that a small flycatcher named the Eastern Phoebe migrates by tying a small string around its leg. And the Phoebe disappeared for the winter and returned to the same nesting site the following spring. Birds migrate to move from areas of low and decreasing resources to areas of high and increasing resources. Birds that nest in the northern hemisphere tend to migrate northward in the spring to take advantage of burgeoning insect populations, budding plants, and an abundance of nesting locations. As winter approaches and the availability of food drops, the birds move south again. Many people think it's the cold that drives the birds away. And while that may drive us humans to vacation in sunny spots during the winter, many bird species, including hummingbirds, can withstand freezing temperatures as long as there's an adequate supply of food. Just like us, they are endothermic and regulate their body temperature on the inside. Migrating birds can move either short or medium distance or cover thousands of miles in a single year. In North America, most birds tend to fly along four broad paths called flyways when they migrate. Pennsylvania lies in the Atlantic Flyway, a broad migratory path that extends along the east coast from Florida all the way up into eastern Canada. Other North American flyways are the Mississippi Flyway, which runs between the Gulf of Mexico and the Great Lakes, the Central Flyway, which includes the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains, and the Pacific Flyway, which mirrors the Atlantic and runs the entirety of the west coast. Young birds have to make their very first migration on their own, somehow finding their winter home despite never having seen it before, and return the following spring to their correct summer homes. The secrets of their amazing navigational skills aren't fully understood, partly because birds combine different types of senses when they navigate their routes. Birds can get compass information from the stars and by sensing the Earth's magnetic field. They can also get information by the position of the setting sun and from landmarks seen during flight. Some species, especially waterfowl, tend to follow narrow migratory pathways that are associated with wetlands, rivers, lakes, coastlines, and other specific habitats that provide them with the food they need to survive. Other birds that are less dependent on water tend to migrate along broader migratory paths. Over 430 species of bird have been recorded in Pennsylvania, and most of these species are migratory. Many of Pennsylvania's migratory birds spend the summer in our state's forests, while others spend the summer in our state's wetlands, grasslands, shrublands, and even in cities. Audubon, Pennsylvania is working to protect the places that birds need to make their nests and reproduce, especially the large areas of forest that exist in northern Pennsylvania and the northern portion of the Delaware River watershed, which Audubon is helping to protect through our Healthy Forest Program, our Kittatinny Ridge Project, and our Delaware River Watershed Initiative. But many of Pennsylvania's migratory birds are declining in number, in part because they often have to pass through cities when they are migrating, and they can expose them to dangerous hazards. One way to help is to make your windows obvious. Upwards of 1 billion birds are estimated to collide with clear or reflective glass in windows, glass walls, and bus shelters in the U.S. each year, and most of these birds die from these collisions. Windows can confuse birds in two ways. Sometimes the glass reflects the sky or the trees of the surrounding landscape, causing the bird to think the reflection is just more of the natural world. Sometimes the windows can appear to be an open space. Either way, the result is the same, a lethal impact. One way to prevent birds from flying into windows is to make your windows obvious by placing decorative markings on the outside using markers, tape, or other materials. But the markers need to be somewhat densely spaced in order to keep the birds from trying to fly through the spaces in between them. 
Go lights out. Another easy way to prevent bird impacts is to simply keep your household or apartment lights off from dusk until dawn, especially during those fall and spring migration seasons. Because most migratory birds migrate at night, they can be fooled into flying into windows, even at night, by lights. These amazing species are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, our nation's most important bird protection law that protects nearly all of our country's native birds. The MBTA is credited with saving numerous species from extinction, such as the snowy egret, wood duck, and the sandhill crane, and millions, if not billions, of other birds. For more information, visit audubon.org and search Migratory Bird Treaty Act. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I'm off to see what migratory species I can spot during this migration season. Let Audubon PA know what you've been seeing. Goodbye, everyone. Until next time.